After three decades of service, a member of the top brass at CMPD is saying goodbye. Former Assistant Chief Vicki Foster just retired, leaving a major impact on the department and the community. I had the chance to sit down and talk with her about some of the signature programs she helped to build. So this is your journey in, in the badge? Yeah, it is. From officer to assistant chief, these badges reflect Vicki Foster's rise in the ranks, 28 and a half years of service. What do you want your legacy to be? I have done some things in the police department that I know have never been done anywhere else. In 2007, she started CMPD HOPE. It stands for helping our personnel with financial emergencies. I have saved officers' houses, I have saved officers' cars, but you don't hear about that. You know, I've paid to keep their lights on, um, and, and our civilian employees as well. She says the organization has given out more than $120,000. And what I think people forget about is police officers are human. They have marital problems. They have financial problems. They get sick. Um, you know, we have a police officer who has two young children that have cancer, and they've had 20, 30 surgeries each. Her impact felt not only inside CMPD, but in the community. Another accomplishment, which will roll out soon, is called Safe Outcomes. What that is about is allowing people to register their loved ones that have mental illnesses, that have autism, that may have something that will um, impact their interaction with the police officer. And so we will eventually um, be able to have that information on a call for service. It's up to a guardian or caregiver to register the person and keep the address updated so officers have some idea of what to expect from someone before they arrive on scene. And if they don't like to be talked to loudly or if they are fearful of police, like it, it's a whole website. Improving lives and saving lives, two things that as she retires, she will remember most. I am very proud of a lot of the things that I've done and I think that it's left the organization in a much better place. And now, among other things, she plans to work on writing a book and continuing to help with CMPD HOPE. To learn more about how you can help officers in need through that program, we posted a link to give on our WSOC app in our latest links section.